Hi Aquarius, welcome back. This is going to be your monthly August love reading. I'll use the Tattoo Tarot today. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. <clears throat> Summarizing in Venus for August in love and romance. What do we have for Aquarius for August? What do we have for Aquarius for August? For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August in love and romance. What do we have for Aquarius for August? What do we have for Aquarius for August? I just realized I need to do your weekend readings. So you guys will get two, two readings in a row. <clears throat> All right, what messages do we have for Aquarius for August? Spirit guides, can we get a love reading for Aquarius, please? For August. What does Aquarius need to know for August? I think I'll do your weekend reading right after this, back to back. What do we have? Thank you. Okay, we have two of wands, wanting more, three of swords, feeling sad or some kind of loss here. The Hierophant is about a commitment. And it's just saying there needs time for this to develop and heal. Eight of Cups is you're not fulfilled about this. You want to walk away. Okay, so two of wands is... You might have two people you're interested in, or it could be just that you are wanting more out of this relationship. Like it's not satisfying. It's not fulfilling. The Eight of Cups is showing it's not fulfilling. The Two of Wands is saying emotionally not fulfilling. It's not getting to the Nine of Cups right now. And the Two of Wands is saying that you want more, like more growth, more passion, more action. The Three of Swords is showing that there's something that happened that has made you upset or hurt, or a, like there might be a breakup or a loss here. And the Hierophant is regarding a commitment. You might have been dealing with a Taurus. It doesn't have to be, but it's saying that it's regarding some kind of like marriage proposal, commitment or something. It's incoming, but I feel like it's in the works that it did not happen yet. And Temperance is saying that um, patience and healing is needed here. Maybe you are healing from this. All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? I feel like it's not over though like i feel like you guys had a fight or something or like a, a yes okay ten of swords and six of cups you guys did have a fight like it was like a this is saying an ending okay the ten of swords is saying it's an ending like some kind of betrayal about somebody from their past i feel like it's it's the person that you're dealing with like they did something with someone from their past talk to someone from their past they still have like really, you know, those guys who have like ex-girlfriends that they're still close friends with or something or an ex-wife they're still close with. Something along those lines. I feel like this could have been some kind of big blow up fight over something like, yeah, three of coins, like a third party. And you feel like this is obvious about how they should conduct themselves, but they didn't do that. And they feel like... This is something that, you know, they've had a long kind of term friendship and love relationship or some kind of situation with this person that they don't think it's reasonable for you to ask them to cut them out of their life. Like that kind of thing. And you guys just can't like work it out or, or there's like a stubborn like and it's, it's like a, it looks it feels like a vicious, explosive, like insult throwing fight like. A vicious fight. I wouldn't even say insult throwing, but like vicious kind of um, potent. I, I'm getting the energy of like mm, vicious is the word. Rage. Um, like if you could, if if words could cut with the intention, it's that kind of thing. Anywho, anything else? Anything else, Spirit Guides? Anything else for Aquarius for August? Anything else for Aquarius for August? High Priestess. It's saying you, you're on to something, like you know something's up. Two of Cups. A secret's going to be revealed. Two of Cups and Three of Cups. I, it feels like you're going to... Um, mm, I don't know. if Is this you who's doing it? I don't know. High Priestess is saying that there's some kind of secret that's being kept. Not saying something that you know. Or um, revealing a secret. There's there's union. I feel like I told you. It doesn't feel like it's over over. But you, it feels like you had a big blow up. Where you said it's over. 
Three of Cups is like it feels like it's reconciliation later, right? Eight of Wands, like passionate reconciliation. Let's let's pull some love oracle messages because otherwise I feel like this is a one of those new relationships that will you guys will be making up and breaking up a lot, kind of thing. This is the Whispers of Love Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield. What do we have for Aquarius for August? What do we have for Aquarius for August? Treasure your loved ones. It's imperative to show uh, to love others deeply. And this is uh, showing a mother with a child. So uh, maybe you're a parent. Maybe kids are involved here. Maybe they feel um, neglected or something. Maybe it's fighting over them. I don't know. The union of hearts. I mean, in addition to this. The union of hearts. There's a connection of love that defies explanation. Hmm. Anything else? Like I do. I, I got this vibe that there is a like. Not only is this you and your person, but it might even like give the vibe of. And I'm hesitant to say it, but immediately give the vibe of like somebody from their past or somebody from your past. That there is this kind of connection still. It might be a. It might be a baby daddy. Might be. Let's see. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Slow down. When you're excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they're with you so you'll always consider them. So there might be distance here with your person. And saying, act as if your partner is here. A appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. I feel like it might be you, Aquarius, who is, um, who, who has more, okay, wanting more. Because you got the first card out is wanting more. You might even have two men, two wands. Let's get a journey of love oracle message for Aquarius, please. A journey of love oracle message for Aquarius for August. What love message is there for Aquarius, please, for August? It's saying to have patience and not be hot-tempered and watch your speech. I kept getting, like, vicious speech. Can you get a... Thank you. The swan. Let's cover up the Three of Swords there. And on the bottom we have Her Grace. But let's read this one. 67. It says, the oracle reaches to you, This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the grace of a great soul, a teacher of the heart, of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of the spiritual goals closest to your heart. Be with your practice of love through meditation, yoga, kindness, nature, dance, singing, whatever speaks to your heart, and know that you are one with the divine, and it's only a matter of time before you realize it. And then the poem, it's three lines. It says, to love from afar, all we share are dreams of what will unfold. Exactly. That with act as if your partner is here, there's distance. There's distance, and in this case... It does make the heart grow fonder, but it also makes the heart get pissed off, have fights. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to your ex over there? Um, you know, why are you talking to them uh, and you wanting more and they feel that way about you? It's it's it feels like um, toxic, jealous fighting like and, and trust issues and, and temper issues. That's what it feels like. All right, let's get a. Um, it says yoga, right? So let's get a spiritual card from the um, yogic path. Uh, I've been using this today, so let's just keep going. Spirit guys, can we please get a card for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? Some spiritual guidance for Aquarius for August. What spiritual advice... Or message is there for Aquarius. Thank you. Kriya. Mm. 
Kriya, it says. Vata and Samadhi. Samadhi. That's like a meditative state. Let's see. Prana. Okay. First, let's read these. They're not that long. We'll start with Kriya. Kriya. And that is page... It's spirituality, page 21. And it says, Life feels like a... Okay, so it's effortless flow. Okay, that's this card, Kriya. Let me put a crystal there. I'm just going to use uh, this aquamarine to chill things out for a second. Life feels like a river that you are graciously floating down with ease. You are on the path to your dharma, highest purpose, and doors are opening for you. One connection leads to another and things are moving at high speed. Kriya. Don't feel overwhelmed. This is how life is meant to be experienced. When you are in Kriya, everything requires far less effort. The universe is propelling you in the direction of your dharma and providing you with assistance to fulfill the very important role you play. You no longer have to push, but rather can surrender to the greater forces at play. Keep up the flow and don't lose sight of your greater goal, uplifting the vibration of this planet. Now let's read Vata. Vata is page 31. It says Ayurveda 31. It says the airy, dosha, creative, imaginative, and unpredictable. Creative one, it is time to let your ideas flourish. You have gotten a gust of the vata, wind, energy, and are riding its waves out to deeper waters. Ideas are bubbling within you, and your body has become a vessel for its creative blessings. Allow yourself to dance to the rhythm of your thoughts and let them take you to higher places. The veil between the stars and earth has been lifted, and the downloads you are receiving are straight from the universe. Be sure to anchor them down to this earth with action so your visions can manifest into reality. Amazing. Next, we have Samadhi. And that will be the last one. Samadhi. And that is page 77. Eight states of yoga, advanced state of meditation, and absorption in the self. Have you noticed the signs of spiritual progress? Your daily practice has brought you to a place of stillness, and it is there where you experience samadhi, the joining of all aspects of your being, physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional. Samadhi is the deepest level of awareness when you experience supreme bliss, consciousness, and enlightenment. Your human consciousness has become one with cosmic consciousness and your soul has realized that it is far more than a mind and body. Celebrate the reunion of your soul and spirit for you are a microcosm of the macrocosm. All right. You know what? It's telling me to read the reversed as well. Just because like for your, um, I, I wasn't going to, but just for the anger um, that is coming up in the last few readings for you, Samadhi 77, 77. And I was just looking at it. It's like it told me the nudge. I got the nudge. So I'm going to give you the reverse. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are the one who experiences each. You pulled this card to remind you of the cosmic universe that lives within you. Have you forgotten you are a seed from the stars? The more you become in touch with the vastness within you, the less you'll worry about societal explanations. Connect to the infiniteness within you through a practice of stillness. It is there that you will realize you are the cosmos in human form. For some reason, that was meant to be read out. All right, that is your reading. Aquarius, hot-tempered, turn on your heart light. There's distance. It's creating problems and obstacles. But it's a love connection, right? It's a love connection and... <sighs> It's saying to be patient, okay? Practice patience with the temperance card. All right, I'll be back with your weekend readings. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.